In this video, I'm going to talk about WorkStream. Now, WorkStream is an important concept within Dynamics 365 Customer Service Omni Channel. Any channel which you configure needs to be a part of a WorkStream. Now, WorkStream is technically a container. I'd say it's a collection of settings. It includes channel setup. It includes routing rules configuration. Uh, work distribution mechanism and if there are any bots we can attach that bot to a work stream now it is a container to enrich route and assign work items received using various channels work streams can be associated with a channel like a live chat or a case or a voice work stream can belong to multiple channels it can be of same type as well. So you can have multiple chat channels attached to a same work stream. Work stream can be of type messaging, record, voice. Messaging is for routing the conversation from chat, SMS, social teams. Record is routing records such as case system or an email or an activity. Voice is with regards to routing the call calls. Okay, so if you receive a voice calls, then that can be routed. Okay, work distribution mode is where how the work is distributed to various agent, whether it is a push or a pick. Now, pick means agent has to explicitly pick the work item from the queue. Okay, so that's a pick mechanism. Push mechanism is somewhat automated. So pick is manual push is automated where the work item is dispatched to agents now dispatched to agents means the agents has been given a work based on some attributes now the attributes are skills so if example if there are five agents working within your organization and if one of the agent is specialized in power bi and if a chat mechanism receives the chat uh, for a power bi request then those things are mapped to agent skills and the agents get assigned to that work items now what are the basic work stream settings so there is a basic settings and there is an advanced setting now in basic settings you can attach a work stream to multiple channels you can define the routing rules like how the work is classified how the work is queued uh, to, uh, it's routed to a queue and what are the fallback queues how is the work distributed, whether it's a push or pull based mechanism, like kind of a push or pick. You can add a bot as well to that specific work stream. Now, why you add a bot to a work stream is because you don't want directly agent to get involved. If a bot can resolve the issue at once, that would be good. But if the bot is unable to do that, then the bot can route the information to a specific agent and then the agent can start addressing those requests. Advanced settings, we can configure sessions, agent notifications, context variables, quick replies, smart assist bots. Okay, now these are set of advanced settings which you can do in WorkStream. How to create a WorkStream? If you go to customer support WorkStream, you can create new WorkStream or use an existing WorkStream and view the type as record as messaging. Now you can create a WorkStream. The WorkStream type can be messaging or record and under this work stream you will see a basic settings and you will see an advanced settings so i will go through this in this demo uh, so if you want to find the work stream what you need to do is like under customer service admin center you can create go to work streams or maybe if in search admin settings let's search for work streams okay then you will see the work stream over here if you click on work stream it will be taking you to this page here you can view all the work stream within your organization you can edit the work stream you can copy the work stream and create a similar work stream you can delete the work stream let me uh, go on creating this work stream so if i click on new work stream i will call this work stream as a pop or maybe oh, power bi work stream okay and i'll select the work stream type as messaging okay now i need to define the channel now i should have channel well defined now this channel i'll say this is only applicable for chat now is it applicable for persistent chat yes or no 
okay work distribution mode who is going to do that whether it's going to be picked up from a, a queue or is it pushed according to some skill set if it is picked then we can pick it pick if it is pushed automatically i can say it is pushed automatically now if it is uh, say pushed then we need to put a fallback queue if what if the uh, existing action doesn't uh, materialize then what are the fallback options so i can go i can say it fallbacks to say garish chat queue okay and then i say create now this will create a new work stream now what we have done over here we have created a work stream we have attached it to specific channel okay we said that this is related to channel and uh, the channel is a chat channel and the work distribution mode is push okay now you will see this interface and it will show you that hey this workstream is not attached to any chat so can we set up a chat okay so if i click on set up a chat then i need to specify uh, a creation of that chat okay then i can type in chat chat widget behavior user feature all those things i'm not going to do that now but you can attach this to a chat okay because this is related to live chat now i can edit this and remember here i can't edit other features only i can change the name so once a work stream is created you can't configure other things okay these all things will remain as it is now this is how you see the chat uh, work stream okay now on the top you will see all this basic settings live chat routing rules work distribution bot and below you should see an advanced setting okay sessions agent notification context variable smart assist bot etc now against a work stream you can define a routing rules you can create a rule set okay you can say that uh, if a work has been received add detailed information to incoming work item from classification rules so i can create a rule set over here okay to uh, classify the work which has been received by this work stream okay other option is to route to the queue and specify the fallback queue which we have already done work distribution mode we said it is a push based approach and unit based all those things can be configured over here we can attach a bot to it so if you say that before even triggering this particular channel uh, let's give it to bot so we should have some bot defined if i select one of the bot connected then i can connect to this bot and this bot will take the first hit this bot will be shown first and then after that it will be transferred to this channel okay so first this bot will take the preference if the bot is unable to solve then it goes into one of the channel which is listed over here now under advanced setting i can say that what session i want it to be under i can select the sessions over here i can click on edit and i can pick up any default template session which i want to be attached to this work stream so that means this work stream is composed of session context variable quick replies agent notification and smart assist bot as well i can add a context variable if my context variables are not defined i can add one okay i can select whether it's a text or a number okay i can uh, update the agent notification now here i can say incoming unauthenticated call a incoming authenticated call what kind of notifications i want okay for consult for transfer for supervisor assign or i can create a new notification quick replies i can add quick reply from an existing uh, quick reply or i can create a new and then attach it to th this particular section over here smart assist bot is basically once you add a bot agents who use the channel of this work stream will be able to see smart assist suggestions from that bot okay so if i click on add bot so let me select say qld bot okay now this particular bot you know will act as a smart assist bot for me okay and then from here i will be able to assist the customer in a much better way so this is all the settings you can do in workstream so remember workstream is a combination of settings okay so it is a collection of setting which where you can define the
channels you can define the routing rules you can define the work distribution you can attach a bot if required it's not mandatory though and under advanced settings you can configure the sessions you can configure the context variables configure quick replies agent notification and attach smart assist bot if required so all this thing form as a part of uh, say work stream so it's very essential that before we even do anything make sure that this is the basic building block so you need to create a work stream and then from that point onwards you can configure all the channel settings okay so that's it folks this is all about work stream and work stream again to reiterate work stream is like a collection of uh, information which uh, helps you to configure the customer service omni channel experience Thanks for watching.